food is something very existential and it's something very fundamental to human beings. And so people, even if they don't understand the intricacies and complications, say, of genetic engineering, they get naturally suspicious when they suspect that their food is chemically contaminated or genetically modified, and the secrecy of the corporations heightens that suspicion. Farmers around the world are in trouble. Why are they in trouble? They're in trouble because there's too much food. It's too much, and it suppresses prices. So those farmers are highly susceptible to a crop, a seed, a product that will slightly reduce their costs, even if the long-term effect is detrimental to their soil, to themselves, even to the family. And you see it in India, you see it in America, you see it in Canada, you see it in Argentina. Five or so agrochemical corporations control about 85% of the food. And what they want to do in their own words is gain control over the entire food chain, from the seeds to the table. Corporations are putting a gene from another species into germplasm to create characteristics or traits which are more desirable to whom? Well, in most cases, these traits are desirable to agribusiness. That is to say, companies who are mass producers of corn and soybeans. Generally, mass producers of food that goes to cattle to make meat. The danger of this is really unknown. Scientifically, we are on a threshold that we've never crossed before. We simply do not have the expertise to judge whether we know what we're doing or not. Monsanto, one of the corporate giants in this field, engineered soybeans to make them resistant to a specific pesticide. Now, it happens to be a pesticide sold by Monsanto, of course. It's called Roundup, so these soybeans are Roundup ready, as they say. The purpose is not to increase the yield of soybeans, the purpose is to sell more Roundup. They have other crops that have a pesticide in them and they want to sell these special seeds. Now they have patented the seeds, they sell them for inflated prices, they charge a technology fee on top of it and then they have intellectual property rights so that farmers are not allowed to save the seeds or develop them as farmers have done for hundreds of years. So they buy the seeds, but they don't own the seeds. They have a license to use it for one year. The next year they have to buy it again. So now they're just like somebody who's been enticed to use drugs and now has to form a relationship with their dealer, right? Who has the power in that situation? The dealer has the power. In Europe, where the anti-GM movement is much stronger, the English supermarkets have agreed not to buy GM food. So the industry now knows that neither Europe nor US is the place where they can keep this expansion on. And they're moving to Asia. And they're trying to push this technology on India by violating every rule under the sun, every environmental law that we have had, corrupting our scientific institutions, our government. And that's why I've sued them. I've got Monsanto in court, in the Supreme Court of India, because they're violating our laws. Hunger is not a technological problem. The world produces enough food. So you may ask, why are there so many hungry people? Well, they're hungry people because the food is not distributed to them, it is not offered to them. 
hunger is a problem of food being concentrated in the hands of the rich and powerful and poor people not having access to them. Well, GM food is going to perpetuate that. In fact, it's going to make it worse. It's going to increase poverty. It's going to increase hunger. So it is not a strategy to produce more food. It is a strategy to undermine small farmers' livelihoods, create ecological risks and create health risks. India can do without all this. Life has evolved for over three billion years. And there is a wisdom in the organization of natural living systems, of ecosystems, living organisms, that we should take to heart. We have never had a worldwide famine, and there's no reason to. But should we follow what these companies are proposing, it'd be very easy, because if the characteristics or if the traits in these seeds should fail catastrophically, they will fail worldwide. This is Gorilla News Network and strength to all the young gorillas.